And now for our main cultural presentation, please put your hands together and welcome on stage your one and only host. This is Captain Fitty in the blue corner. Once again, Captain Fitty. <laughs> Four crumbles and four inches. Look at the helmet. Are you not entertained? Sorry about that. Okay, this one. Oh, she got a coconut anyway, let me see. Talofa! Talofa! Oh, come on, Talofa! Talofa! You know, today is your day. You like it or not, you chose to be here. There's no other choice. <laughs> but to have a good time. Are you ready for a good time? Yeah! You're in the right place. This is Samoa. Everybody say Samoa. 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 You want some more? <laughs> <laughs> you go out there today, or wherever you are in the island, and you're not happy, come back here for more. <laughs> our culture is alive in Samoa, our language, our chief system, and all the things we're trying to share with you today is today. Welcome to Samoa today. Although it's, it's already tomorrow there, it's still today. <laughs> so welcome to tomorrow today. <laughs> nice seeing you yesterday. Today we want to take you back to the plants. I believe the plants will really help you understand our culture better. Is a a plant-based culture, and I believe if there's no plant, there's no culture. There's no house, there's no canoes, clothing, food, medicines, so forth. So we'll share with you a few plants and their uses, but really put the emphasis on one particular plant or tree. In Samoa, the tree is referred to as the La Aureola, or the tree of life. Oh, my, my, my. You hear that? That's the sound of the tree. Young, strong, something very confused, trying to figure out what's going on with life. That's him. This is the tree. Give me the tree. <laughs> He's the one who got hit in the head. <laughs> yeah, you're bleeding on the head screen. <laughs> yeah, the coconut is bleeding. Coconut is the tree of life. It gives so much and much, much more, my friends. And today we'll share this, this precious knowledge with you. Go home and share with your friends, if you have friends. <laughs> and if you're going home. <laughs> Coconut is a seed, it germinates, becomes another tree, and today, my friends, I mean, you come so far, you made it here, let's celebrate the life of the coconut tree along with other plants. First, you must know that the coconut tree has no season, so when the trees start to bear fruit, it doesn't stop. Every single leaf gives at least 10 coconuts. At least 10, look up, everything, every leaf has a, a bunch of it. It started way down below, so when the tree trunk is about a foot or two above the ground, the tree stops at bare fruit and it has a stop yet and it won't until it dies or uh, you cut it down use it for other things. For example, a whole house can be built with just the coconut tree. Wow. So let's break it down for you. From the roots, the roots are medicines. The tree trunk, a solid piece of wood, long, straight, beautiful grain. You can carve, you can build anything with it. You can also cut a small piece and use it as a weight to work out with. People ask us constantly, hey, do you guys work out? I say, we work way out. <laughs> you have no idea how out we work. And how late we stay out. Now that school is out. I mean, look at the abs of these young men. There's one app over there, another app. Right another big one over there. There's four over there in the ship. And there's one, one and a half over here. These apps are free. Download the apps anytime. <laughs> if you have the iPhone 10. 10 is not available. Steve Job didn't finish it. Somebody else's job. <laughs> Who did the app? You can sit on it and don't think at all. You don't have to think. You have a smartphone to think for you. This is serious. I mean, you know, iPhone, iPad, iTouch, iDS, iPad. This I thing is going way too far. I mean, we spent with two eyes, Wi-Fi into the wide. Now we got a selfie with a stick. I mean, how selfish life is becoming. Self-centered young man. Get a life. Get to work. Don't be a burden to society and families. 
Have you heard of iWork? <laughs> and the IRS? <laughs> They're watching you. <laughs> Moving on to the leaf of the tree. A young man weaving a cute little basket that one of you will take it home today. Who wants a basket? Yeah. Of course everybody wants one. You're going to cut it up and you can take a piece of it. <laughs> Just tell your friends and families that this is a piece of the basket. I got a headband, we got some coming out to you, the headband and the little bird. Whoever deserves a get if you don't get one, today is not your day. I'm just kidding. Look at the house, the whole roof is coconut leaf. The blinds are coconut leaf. The mat you sleep on is coconut leaf. The tray you eat from is coconut leaf. The hat you wear is coconut leaf. I mean, the list goes on and on. The fan you fan with is coconut leaf. Check this out, there's one single leaf will help you understand just a bit more. So what I do here, take the leaf off, break the ends, becomes a skirt all the way around. It's also a shirt and more. The fishing method in Samoa called the Lao or the Hooki Lao. Now you sing and dance to it in Hawaii. This is the leaf we fish with. We have here a Q-tip. That is a Q-tip. We have a toothpick. <laughs> it goes in there, it goes right in there. <laughs> Buy one, get one free. <laughs> It's long enough to reach the other side. Watch if it goes all with it. If you get everything, you should speak to me. A fork to be with, a comb to comb your hair with. We got this broom to sweep with. We clean up every day in the house, out in the field. You hear the sound of the broom every single day. The child's nightmare is his broom. I get this side. It's really funny now, it wasn't funny growing up. I've been spanked my whole life, it doesn't hurt me. Hit me one more time. That was two times. What school you go to, you get camp? It's not like here, right? <laughs> Back to the basket. Every young man must know how to weave the basket. If you can't weave it, you can't do the work. I mean, it carries rocks and the firewoods and coconuts, everything. The child that cannot walk is carrying the basket. So the young man. Work in the farm to get all the food and they walk for miles and miles with these loads. In these long walks, they actually stop and post. Check this out. <laughs> Do you know how many books written about Samoa? A lot. Not one book mentioned this part. It's been hidden from the world in the beginning of time. Now it's exposed. You realize these young men are so full of themselves. They're in the middle of nowhere posing and nobody cares. It's just Hurry up and get to the village and you cook the food they're waiting for you. The sun is going down. <laughs> in Samoa, we believe everything was in place in the beginning of time. Everything was in order in our society, especially in the family. Everybody has responsibilities. The young man's role is to provide. So they're the fishermen, they raise the animals, they plant the food, they cook the food, and then they serve the food in the house. So in our homes, your grandparents, your parents, your sisters eat first. And it is indeed the most beautiful part of our culture. So young men serve their families with great respect. And we've been taught, as young men, you can the neighbors doing the same thing with their young men. If the people we serve today serve the people before us, and now it's their turn to be served, and then one day your turn will come. And because of that, I know for a fact, our culture is alive today, and hope and pray it lasts a very long time. So when you get home, make some changes. Let these young men cook. And let them serve the food. Come on, give it up for the young man. To the next to you. And those waiting at home for this new idea. Put some skirts on this young man. And let them be men. <laughs> Women have their place in every society. And that's very true. In Samoa, your mother, your sister is compared to the people of your eyes as a young man. That means that relationship is very sensitive. And they're very protective of that relationship. So in Samoa, everybody knows this. Especially the men. Never disrespect anybody's mother or sister. It's the last thing you want to do. It might be just the last thing you do. Yeah, good for you. Your mother gave birth to you. That's pretty amazing. Besides that, they do much, much more. Our clothing, for example, one of them. This is brand new polyester cotton mix. That's the bark of a tree. That's the leaf of a tree. All by hand. The sound that you hear, that I hear, Right here in my ears <laughs> is the alarm system. <laughs> oh There's a hurricane coming. <laughs> the UV is high today. The shower celebrations are in Zamor. There's that day set aside in the village for the women to display the work. So imagine, these are small, 
Measure the bay ones, flying through the video, showcasing the work of the women. Besides that, we wear them, we trade with it. You know, it's valuable. So the bigger the mat, the softer they are, the more intricate you put them together, the more valuable they are. Tedious work. I write a cook. <laughs> Get it over with. <laughs> do that. Give it over to the women. And all the women out there want to do for their families. Moving up to the coat and the fruit of the tree. So you. Before rugby and football, it was coming up. Who's the draft man? Get hit on the head on the right spot, game over. You don't have concussion, you have a split headache. <laughs> that go this way, the other half doesn't matter where it goes. <laughs> this is right, when they're right, they turn brown like us, so some of you are not right here. <laughs> and some of you are not right anymore. <laughs> no season, some of you. Right, slow, not right. <laughs> to husky we use this, we call it melee. You ever say melee? Melee. Oh, come on, melee. Melee. In English, sharks. <laughs> In Spanish, Pablo Angelal. India, luckily, Filipino, luckily, I got it. Korea, Korean, Chinese, <laughs> Japanese, I got it. Where you from? Korea, Korea, how you say? Mukun. Tim. Oh, that's Chinese. Mukun is Chinese. <laughs> First step. Oh. Oh. <laughs> 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 Before we kick it through the window, then next to the door, there's always open hand and open door policy. Let's talk about the coconut husk. Well, the coconut ripens, the husk dries up. You can use it for all kinds of things. Before it ripens, take the husk to the ocean, soak it for a couple of weeks in the salt water, take it out, pound it, and clean it up, it becomes that. Dental floss. Every place then. Hair stains on. And that's exactly what you look like. Operation gone wrong. <laughs> Maybe like a chicken, like a dog or something like that. Now, there's no nails. If you look at the house, Everything's tied with a rope that comes with the husk. The, the, the houses, the canoes, the weapons, the tools, the original fishing line, fishing nets, and so much more. Look at that hook. You can touch an eye with that hook. Push it out, shower with it. Wash the dishes with it. Don't you use the same one you shower with? The wash the dishes, that is disgusting. Because all that dead skin flying through the It's far dry skin. Wash your feet first and then your face. <laughs> oh, <shower. laughs> it's called dry clean. Alright, crack the coconut in half. You need to know that the coconut has a face. And if you didn't know that, today you come face to face with the coconut. <laughs> See the face? Pretty cool, huh? Two eyes, a mouth, and a nose. Spanish, for home, or is it what? For you, Chinese, you do, you do, you do. Japanese, you know, come in the middle. It's on Facebook. Yeah, there's a face, there's three lines. By the coconut store, find the line. There's a line here, another one right here, at the opposite of each other. And then there's a one here between the eyes, right? Get right across that line, and it cracks in half. That's it. A hammer, a knife, sidewalk, dynamite, be, be safe. We use our foreheads. <laughs> I want to leave a long time. Do something else? It was a rock in Samoa. The rock in Samoa. Ma. In Ma. Spanish. The other <laughs> Filipino. Oh, and then uh, in India, Chinese. You know. Korea. <laughs> 
Japanese. In America, not cracker. In Arkansas, little rock. In Tennessee, rock. Anything else? Come back here, sir. Stay here with me. To our country. To those who are in trouble right now, wish them all the best. Finish it. <laughs> tomorrow you look like this. It's tomorrow. And tomorrow you look like this. Hold on, we, we have a gift for you. Your wife? We have a gift for your wife. He's on his way. <laughs> Not him, the bastard. <laughs> he wants me to it. Get to work. <laughs> That's the juice. The milk is in the meat. Shred the meat. We use a sharp piece of metal. Before it was a shell. But last year we got the metal. This year we got heavy metal. This year we're heading for the gold metal. What you do and eat, you don't have a choice. It shows up in your physique. Look at this kid. Look at the muscles. The ab, singular, one ab. The pecs, the biceps, the triceps, the trapezes, the deltoid, the dismastosan, the external oblique, the glute, gluten free. Not included. <laughs> All right. Have you heard of a uh, muscle memory? Right there. Full of memory. Oh. So we got the meat shredded. Yeah? And we're going to gather that, boil them up, squeeze it, and make milk. Milk turns to oil, oil is good for everything. Your hair, your skin, oil you pull in the morning, bake with it, massage with it, and much, much more. He won the competition in some more called the squeezing competition. Very private competition. Nobody heard about it. It's private. Don't look it up. <laughs> You want that? Just keep it private. Check it out. It does it with slime. Look at that now. That is pure milk. It's going to turn left to a little bit of the hula step. Look at that step, huh? Does it to the right, you know what I'm saying? To the left, to the right. He does it overhead. Make sure the milk is all over the place. You are the young man! You have the lowest! You have a good time? Do you want more? Go home and make your own milk. <laughs> Do you want more? Yeah. What do you say? Yeah. No, no, say, say some more. Some more. Don't forget what you are. You're in some more. You want some more. You come to some more. <laughs> We're going to make fire by rubbing sticks. Two pieces from the same wood. Very important information. It's wild hibiscus. We have low biscuits. We got hibiscus. <laughs> <laughs> we divide to right here, two families, one family here, one family here, you're the Fai family, you're the Popo family, so say Popo, 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 Fai, the competition, Fai, Popo, 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 Fai, 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 banana, Popo coconut, you go banana, you go nuts. <laughs> These are your chefs, I'm a chief, what do you call a chief without an eye, a chef. Get set, go! Fai, po, 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 po,
never judge a man by the number of his eyes. Absolutely wrong. I have an idea with a hook. My children hold the gasoline both ends. We light them up in gasoline. In your homes, you teach your children, don't touch a knife. Stay away from the fire. In our homes, we put it together and give it to the child. <laughs> and watch them suffer. They never talk back to you ever again. <laughs> This is why I'm hot. This young man will show you how it's done. Tasi! How do I just smile? Hello, can you open my shoes? That's disgusting. Clap your hands, mom. Three hundred pounds going out the tree. Push him up. Push him up. Push him up, mom. He's going to eat lunch. Push him up. Push him up. Clap your hands, mom. Push him up. Push him up. Saying, saying I'm on the wrong tree. There's, there's nothing up there. What's the point? So we have him jump to the next tree. And that's all we finish. It was a jump. Oh, this guy, big as he is, has never missed a jump. Yeah! 
you look like in 60 days in this 90 day tree climbing program. It's called the Tree 90X. You should have seen the before pitch. This is so dangerous, my friend. Look at that. You fall here, that's it. You fall here, though. It's not your fault. This is America or something else's fault. <laughs> it's not more, it's your fault. Very dangerous. This is a lot of work and we hold on to you like, come on, give it up. 300 pounds! Best workout. 390X! Remember, our people of Samoa, our students of Samoa that are attending BYU Hawaii campus. Uh, sec today is second day of school, so yesterday school started. I'm sure they're having a wonderful time being back in the classroom. Alidus, Italiana, 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 Italiana,